Hey guys, and welcome to show number four. Yes. Show number four. We're still uh, here. We are. And I just. Thanks, thanks to people following and all um, that stuff. I forgot. We've got to, before the end of the show, we've got to think of something to give away as a prize. That's new this week. We're meant to have thought of that before, but we'll come up with something. <laughs> Jamie's not like us to make it up on the <laughs> no, on the go. No, like, exactly. <laughs> uh, what have you been up to? Anything cool? I'm staying in my shorts still. Still in the shorts. Um, <laughs> I've been up to, not the whole lot. I'm training. Just training right now. That's that's what this part of the year is about. Just training, training hard, and then having the weekends off is a bit of a novelty. So oh, just, that's huge, is it? Yeah, yeah. Just so so catching up on a bit of golf. Scoops at the weekend. The odd few. Yeah, nothing mental. I pick and choose my time. I saw you at the UFC. A couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Ringside. Yeah. yeah um, I was, uh, okay, here's my take on it, right? Okay. I'm going to be the devil's advocate here. Go for it. It's barbaric. Right. It it's, uh, promotes violence and it's, uh, kids shouldn't be watching it. I'm you just going to throw that out there. you say the same thing as boxing? Uh, more brain damage in that than, than uh, no, uh, bo- no um, a, a lot of people would. I like watching a good boxing fight. I think it's brilliant. And it's a shame that it's gone to crap, like there's no good heavyweights. But a lot of people, I saw 50-50 split. Loads of people loving it, best board, Irish, McGregor, yeah. everything. Half people saying, promotes I, violence. I love it. No, because, you know, you, you look at the, the fighters, the guys that... The, 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 who are in the in the octagon and they are it's by no means barbaric it's technical it's technical it's a skill yeah they train unbelievably hard yeah um like you look at every sports star like rugby players football player everybody in there like everybody's ripped in perfect condition you look at those guys like i was looking at conor mcgregor and he's a different level specimen like you just like like every inch is perfect i i went there to be honest i went I wouldn't really up mind. I'd never been to a UFC, UFC fight. I'd watched a, uh, a little bit. Yeah. I'd watched a lot of the stuff. Obviously, like most Irish people, uh, you know, Carlo Pendred and Conor McGregor, you know, they were flying the flag for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, actually, three of my mates, uh, Paul O'Donoghue, Owen O'Malley and, and Keen Healy, they all uh, were in school in the same year as, as Cahill. Right. So, you know, I was kind of tagging along because yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. one of their mates as yeah, well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And... Had an open mind, would watch all the stuff on, on YouTube, all the documentary stuff uh, around. So McGregor you wouldn't have that. been watching it on telly all the time? No, not this. all the time. You'd like, see the odd fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, odd yeah, fight. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, you know, I was going to a very open mind, didn't know a whole lot, but I, yeah. I'm, big in, I'm big into boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And boxing, um, you know, there's a skill behind it. Yeah. You know, it's a craft. Yeah. You got to work at it. Yeah. You know, that you gotta put in hours in regarding video. Like it's like yeah, yeah, video yeah, yeah, work, yeah. diet, training, your whole lifestyle, everything. Weight, around everything, it, yeah. You know. And and UFC is exactly like that. Yeah. That's not barbaric. It seems barbaric. It seems I can see how people perceive it because they see guys on the ground and they're yeah. scuffling on the ground. But like what you don't what you don't realise there's all sorts of rules in it. Just I can like imagine, boxing. yeah, they'd stop it. And there's probably doctors and everything all yeah. over the place. And, like yeah, yeah. you know, they, they have some really good systems in terms of watching their athletes. Um, but, you know... You More of a WWF man myself. Is well, that's pure <laughs> entertainment. You know yeah. what I mean? Actually, I had your man... Um, what's his name? Uh, Seamus. You know no what? way. Yeah. He tweeted... He, like, I saw him. I, I, was fo- I follow him on Twitter and I yeah. saw a picture that he put was up. Was he up. in, like, Kerry? Yeah, on he was a bike? in the ring of Kerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Lens- he was wearing a Leicester jersey. Oh, was he? I didn't see that. And I was like, I was like oh, great shout in the jersey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. man. And then out of nowhere, he was like, if I get to 1.5 million followers on Twitter, I'll go, he was like, I'll go do a, a naked dip in the 40 foot with, with, with at proper church and at Jamie Heaston. No and I was like, kind of going, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't sign, sign up, up for this. that. Yeah. Um, but uh, I was mad. I couldn't believe, like, he, he's like, this, like I couldn't believe it's how huge like, I in the States. Like, mad into it. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the doom time. I gave up at the... the That's when I was into it. Undertaker, around that time when I gave up. Undertaker, yeah. I remember Hulk Hogan as well. See, I'm 30, I'm nearly 35, so I was like the general... You remember the warrior? No, what was he? The warrior! Yeah, I remember the warrior. He was nuts. If I saw him, I'd probably remember him. Great documentary on him. Um, No, I used to be big into it, but anyway... uh, 
Your man Seamus was, was, that was random. He was like tweeting me about it, myself and Keen about it. And we were like, what the hell is going on? And has he gone home now? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't don't know. I was like, I'm, I'm looking for the, he's, he's obviously leaving me hanging. I'm looking for the DM on, on Twitter going, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll yeah. meet you at the 40 foot. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be on skinny dip, mind no, you. But, uh, nice. No, but back to the, the, the UFC, I, I really loved it. Um, such a skill and such an yeah. art in it. Um, I'd say live. I, I, I wouldn't really watch it on oh, TV, but I'd love to watch it live. I'd say it's good. It was probably one of the, the best uh, entertainment. sporting entertainment events I have been to really um, in the last five years. See, at least you know something's going to happen. Like, you know, whereas if you go and watch a football match or, I don't know, some other... It was like, really cool. Like, I mean, so people were like, oh my God, it must be really boring or, or over really quickly because McGregor's fight uh, was over very quickly. But I was like, no, was like, we were there. We were, I was there from about half six. You know, and can you watching, drink ringside? Oh yeah, you're watching all these fights. You're dipping out in between. Yeah. In, in between the fights, you're having a drink. I'd say the crowd in. are. The it's crowd is like actually. Carl Pendry came out and he was playing um, you know, Italian ninety song. Oh no way! No way! And the whole crowd like everyone's just like yeah, going after those that. other guys that were fighting didn't have a chance. Oh no! And like, like I was, I was with the three lads who were in school with him, and like we were ringside, and like but. But it was, I was buzzing, I was almost buzzing off them more than anything because yeah, yeah, yeah. they were mate like in, in it. There yeah, 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 yeah. And the way his fight went. Did you ever see the picture of him carrying a dolphin? Yeah. <laughs> like, really weird. It was like insane. But or was see, it a dolphin or a big fish? I a picture fish? recently of, uh, of him meeting Dana White like last oh, really? time. Um, he was in Ireland for the last UFC fight and now he's come like full circle. He's fighting no way. as his boss. Awesome. But uh, McGregor, you know, McGregor, like a lot of people love or hate him. You know, and how can you not like he him? He talks a lot. In fairness, he goes, People will watch me fight because they don't want to see me getting the head knocked off me. Or yeah, yeah, me yeah, yeah. But any guy that does box his, office. Yeah. Any guy that does his ACL and he did his ACL in the first round of the fight. What's that? A cruciate cru- um, cru- no. Yeah, cruciate ligament. Yeah, 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 yeah. And any guy that does that and keeps fighting and wins. Because, like, surely if you're the other fighter, you're going straight for the cruciate ligament, no? Well, that, I don't, well, I don't know if he did. He, your man knew he did it. But yeah, McGregor yeah. said he knew he did it. And that was just, that was intense. But, um, that's amazing big. event, amazing event. Um, cool, so we're going to start, like the dogs have planned, like we're usually on our, people were saying it's the casting couch, we're usually on the couch, Snoop decides to pop himself in the middle and there's no moving him, so randomly, dogs. Yeah. Um, and dog tech, you've got a dog, I've got two dogs. Yeah. So, a few uh, companies, first is, there's a big American one which is called, Dog boarding, so dog vakey, yeah. and the Irish version of that is called. I've lost it, but there's an Irish uh, dog board. What was? It? What did I say? How's my dog? How's my dog? Um, so basically, this is so cool, right? So not everybody can have a dog. We've got dogs. We go on holidays, go on travel. So if you don't have a dog and you don't want a full time dog, you can become a host of dogs. So mm. let's say I'm going on holidays next week, uh, which I am. I can. What are you saying, Buster? You know we're talking about you. He's talking. About um, we can. <laughs> Buster, shut up! You can leave. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave the dogs with somebody, so they get to experience a, a pet, and then you come back and take them. So it's, I think that's it's like Airbnb for dogs. And do you them. choose the dogs? Yeah, if you want puppies, you can choose puppies. If you want a bulldog, you put See, yourself. See, like down. I, I'd almost do it for the crack to have another like yeah. a couple of dogs kicking yeah. out the gaff. Um, and uh, it's and it's always nice to have your dog know that your dog's in a in a family home. Or yeah, in a home. Like I'm really lucky. I, I send them out to. Um, I send them out to my girlfriend's mom's house who has two German Shepherds and um, a, what is the other, they just got a pup, it's a terrier. Three dogs, that's a Three lot. Three dogs, so with him it's four. Uh, wow, yeah. I think they're great. So I, last time I, I, I always put them with somebody I know or like that, a family yeah. and friends. And then I had to put them in kennels. There was an, it was like mid-July wedding, everywhere was booked out. Put them in for two days, just in the yeah. kennels beside the wedding. And I came back. And like they both nearly knocked me over. They yeah. were like they just they don't like kennels. It's just the um, the thing. They're pack animals, man. They gotta yeah. be around people. Yeah, they gotta be part of a pack. Um, so th- I think it's a great idea. So that's one. So it's an Airbnb for dogs. I'd say that'll be a big success. Yeah. Uh, my only my only concern with these things, right, is that what's stopping Airbnb from doing it themselves? Just Flicking it on. Yeah, a new tab, dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah it's true. Um, so there's an international one. We're obviously supporting the Irish one, which is House My Dog. House My Dog, yeah. And, and you know, funny enough, the way Dublin is, 
I know I'm, I'm, I'm going to meet the guys, they're friends of one of the lads I, I play rugby with and um, you know they've been on the Love and Dublin site as well. Small world. Um, you know, a small world and it's great to see it. Absolutely. I, I, I like seeing people taking those, remember we talked about it before, I think we talked about it in episode one or episode two about people taking the different spins on, on, on like Airbnb or, or yeah. just remixing up old ideas and I really, yeah. I think it's cool because it is. like that whole industry, like Dogs and pets. Oh, it's huge. The second Absolutely one that we're huge. Bark Box, right? Which is uh, our, a friend of ours, Noel. Is he in bed? No, he knows the guy who started it yeah. or something. But it's basically, you know, the way boxes are cool. You order boxes and it's. Why do you so, like my hand? Oh, he licks anything. Look, he's a big licker. Um, so it's you order it subscription 20, 30, 40 bucks a month, and it comes out once a month uh, with a box of toys for your dog. So that's yeah. a great business. I think it's a hundred million euro business already. People will spend any amount of money on their dogs. And then the last one, which you're interested in talking about, is fitness trackers for your dogs, right? I think this might be taking it a bit far, right? So it's called Whistle. Yeah. Um, you put it it's on your dog. It's a fitness tracker for your dog. I thought, I thought Whistle was just like a tracker for your dog, but it's... Well, it's, it's, it's like Fitbit, so it'll, it'll show you how far they've walked. It'll, the, the idea is you can take it to the vet and you can be like, Analyzing what they've done, what they haven't done. Do they need to walk more yeah, or less? Be sh- Your dog. Is My guy's like he's like the episode from. Um Oh, super size me. You don't know why your man yeah, can't yeah, yeah. walk more than like a thousand steps or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be Jay Z. <laughs> he's so lazy. Snoop is like a f- marathon runner. Like he just he goes. He just goes. He goes nonstop. So I don't know. Like, would you? I can't even put a fitness tracker on myself. I don't but, know if I'd w- put one on the dog. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's a bit too much. It you know? is a little bit too. But like if one hundred and thirty bucks, like a responsible owner gets a dog. See, that's the thing. They price it so well. Yeah, yeah. You're just like they priced it very well. Yeah. Um, like I don't know. Like if you're a responsible dog owner, you get a dog that suits you know your lifestyle and you know making sure that you can provide it. Walk with, it. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, depending on the type of dog that it is, like bulldogs aren't exactly the most athletic dog. No. So does you he know, go out for, like, how like far can he walk? or something. How far can a bulldog... He'll walk, walk, but, like, literally after five seconds, he'll be like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> and, um, and, like, in the heat, and I actually have to keep him inside in this kind of heat. Yeah. Like, he's... He, you should uh, just get an air conditioning unit that he can just, like, I actually have, have one of those Dyson fans at home. And he just sits in. And in the evenings, when I turn it on for myself, he just, like, sits in front of it, and he just, <laughs> like, blocks it. Yeah. Uh, was there another dog one? No, that's a dog one. So dog tech, kind of cool. People will spend money on their dogs, but I don't well, think... But there's already tech on dogs. Like we microchip our dogs. True. You have those, uh, you know those wireless fences that they, you can fit the wire around oh, the I'll house? I'll tell you the best story ever. So You Snoop, didn't put it on one of no. your friends. So Snoop is... <laughs> <laughs> Snoop is quite kind of dumb, right? He's lovely, loyal, lovely, but he's not the smartest. Buster. I'm happy with you there. Buster is like Sherlock Holmes, right? So we went up to my uncle's house. And um, they had a dog with one of those on him, right? Yeah. So Buster likes stealing all the, everybody's toys, right? He got kicked out of Mud Ugly, the dog place. He's not allowed in because he basically rounds up all the toys and then like nobody Five can play. Yeah, yeah, nobody can play. So this dog had toys, right? But he also had the thing like 50 meters around the house. Yeah. So Buster straight away, like the dog copped was chased, it. copped it. And he went one meter behind the, the radius of the thing. So Buster's there like, Whatever with the toys and the other dogs try to get through and what Buster's it, just it, like, Does it shock them? Does it vibrate them? What does it do? I don't, I think it's a bit cruel. I, I don't know, I think it gives them a, a jolt like. Okay, they yeah. wouldn't go through it again. Like they, okay. they learn to not go. But that then, at but the in, same time, the they're not going to get lost. Like, yeah, and, and it might protect them from running out in a row. Yeah, yeah. You know, all sorts of things. Chasing, I don't know, chasing cattle in the country. You know, I wonder, a farmer it, will shoot your dog if he comes on the land. It's and, true, it's you know true. What I mean? um, yeah, so tech for dogs. You're right, it's actually already there. And yeah. the vet was telling me the medicine for them is way better because they just pump, like if they need a drip or insulin, there's no like, ooh, is it good for them? They just pump whatever into them. So like it's, I think they're better looked after than humans. <laughs> uh, okay, next story is we're talking about, what were you talking about? Um, sports, tech. Yeah, I remember we, we were talking about this, like the way tech and sports are meeting and how... Like the Americans do, well, so like we're talking about the UFC, right? And yeah. Like they make out of the shop buster. They make, they make. He's jealous. Yeah. They yeah. make sport entertainment. He he wants to come up. He's gonna just launch himself up in a minute. All right, look, I'll make your bed. Space week. Come on up here. Come on, come on. Up, buster. Up. Get up here. Up. Go on, up, buster. 
This guy, no. is, he's playing an unbelievable blocking role. <laughs> yeah. um, no, like, uh, like the way th- they made the UFC entertainment, right? Yeah. And they make American football entertainment. And I'm like, I, like people who, the, the first kind of people to embrace tech in, in sport and make it entertainment, it's going to be really cool. Because we're yeah, getting yeah, yeah. all sorts of things tracked. And I was like, what do you have in the... Like, you talk about rugby, right? You have something in the in the what like the bras you wear. The bras, <laughs> yeah. the sports. Oh, sorry, buddy. Like, do you not have a tracker in your? Uh, yeah, we we have. Oh, we have. Um, how are you doing? We <laughs> have. Uh, yeah, we wear those weird sports bras, or else like in our jersey, some of them have pockets. Okay. And um, basically, we track all sorts of things: GPS, distance run. Um, Impacts, G-force, accelerations, the accelerations, top speed. See, I love the old days. Sorry to jump into you. Like, your manager comes in and he's like, you weren't running. And you're like, I was running all over the place. Like, you could probably... <laughs> now like, you can go. No, he uh, can well, probably go. Well, actually... <laughs> yeah. No, but like, so I'm kind of... Like, track your heart rate, for example. So, I was there. Okay. Imagine like, imagine like a big game and there's a guy, there's a penalty. He has a kick to win it. Yeah. And his heart rate flashes up on the screen and you see what his heart rate's oh, like. Oh, that's, that's you know what epic. I mean? Or maybe you don't see it on the screen. You see it at home. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, then I was, I was reading up this, I was reading up this story. I'll give you, I will pet you in a minute. This is ridiculous. Snoop, into your bed. Come on. Into your bed. You keep talking there. I'll get rid of him. Okay. No, no, I was talking about this, uh, <laughs> this cool thing I was reading on Flipboard. Like the NFL is putting like this, uh, it's or FID NF- chips oh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In, uh, in their shoulder pads now. Okay. And now they're like, they're, it's going to be literally like Madden. Uh, okay. Madden football. So like, they'll be able to tell you. 40 distance. foot to the wide receiver. Yeah, well, like let's say when a corner's uh, stepping up on a wide receiver at the line and they take off against each other, like they'll know the distance between them. Cool. You know, they'll be able to track all sorts. Like this thing was going on, going, it like basically be firing out real time information between. Between See, them. Well, that's what people want. They want those little nuggets. Those I'd like, insights, like, like a massive tackle, bang. That was X a, amount of G force, same yeah. as a car crash or something. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, rugby's always been kind of good at taking it like ahead of the game in terms of like I, I follow soccer and it's a disaster for uh, for tech. They they just got goal line technology. But if you had and rugby as well, if you had say it was so accurate that the you could tell offside properly, for example, like say just you've three yeah. players and like there's no doubt about it, he's offside. Do you know what I mean? Like, could, do you think it could get that accurate? Yeah, and I, but I would say there's some calls that you want to keep that in there. You want to keep with the ref. yeah, like say a forward pass. Like if you knew to but the I, millimeter. I think maybe like like maybe maybe something like reviewing plays like in football, like they do it in rugby. Yeah, I mean you're able to go back. Yeah. If but you don't doubt. want it. To, you, you don't want tech to like. No, but I think much. in American football they do really well. You get three yeah, challenges. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only way to do it. You limit it. Yeah, and then if you mess up your challenges, it's your That's it's it. your yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So what else? Yeah. I, I, you know, I just think ways of really embracing tech. Like, I mean, I know, I know now they're doing stuff where like they're putting these like the little packs on us that we use for GPS stuff are like having mics in them, for example, cool. so they're listening to players. Like, that's well, only you know, your own coach, is it? No, 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 no. Like the, the but no, broadcast. Have, what I'm saying is they have thought, you know, everyone has ref link. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, so basically you could have it that like, you player could, link. the captains are talking, you could hear that. You could hear yeah, players like, in real time. What if you're now, swearing? Like, now, yeah, now like there's a bit of a thing where maybe they have to, they should do it like radio, have like a five second delay yeah, and yeah, someone's yeah, got to yeah, be yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like surely, right, I'll, as I say for you, like there's times in a match where you're like, look, let's go and Oh no, there's, there's, that there's guy, always you know I mean? yeah, like, but I'm just saying like uh, there's ways of the means yeah, yeah, of giving yeah, yeah. those real cool insights into it. I mean that's probably a little bit extreme because yes, look, in the guys, battle, guys say yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah, in the heat of battle. Of course, you know what I mean. And probably the nicest guys in the world, but just like you're egging each other on yeah, or like yeah, yeah. Well, how else? Like what about drones? I think that's our third topic, so it'll kind of link into yeah, that. Dr- drones are cool. Like I've seen some cool ones. I, I don't know about you, but like. In I, what sense? I, I don't know. I've seen some good advertisement that um, who was doing it? I think it was Coke. Were doing it. Oh, in like Singapore or something? No, they were doing something like they 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 put a can of Coke. Yeah, and they took it up to the top building. No, no, no. I, I don't know about that one, but oh. the, and a can of Coke, and they put it on like um, they were trying to make Coke Zero exciting or something. They put right. it on a little like um, uh, not a go kart. Like a mini racer, an okay. RC racer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like took it off and it jumped over a truck. But like the whole thing was filmed on like on a GoPro on nice, a drone. Nice. And it just it looked yeah, really yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And I actually where we're training, 
I've seen a load of, I don't know what building they're coming out of, but like drones. Like, yeah, like they're coming they're obviously on their lunch break and there's about four of them out there every day and they're like flying their drones Droning around up. the place, like practicing flying so their drones. So how much I, I think I might buy a drone. Like how much can you get a drone for that you can put a GoPro? You might know some idea. Uh, it depends what the drone. Four hundred? No, a bit more like a bit really? A grand. It's a lot to justify just to get a bit of but you could like I'd love to do a video of Dublin like the seaside and like just a really you know those stylized videos yeah. but like all from the air like imagine how you could set it to that like it automatically like follows you around oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'd say you like could. you hop like basically you hop on your bike and it's like in front yeah, of you yeah, but yeah, it has yeah, awareness yeah but how like what like this that'd be cool there's obviously going to be a lot of drones like in the field like how are they going to not oh, hit into each other well, but like that's that's like there's tech there we know that we have yeah. autonomous cars what about when the drogues turn against us and like they start to and then Terminator like, style yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it'll all be grand uh, flying up and then suddenly they'll be like bow, bow, bow. No? Well, don't get me started on like zombie apocalypse slash I think we're close, apocalypse. we're close like man, we're, we're uh, we, had, we had this I, I was watching like The Walking Dead and a couple of us watched it in the club and uh, like I have a full on plan if, if, it, if they go rogue if it kicks off what's the plan I can't tell you okay or I'm do you, sorry, do you it's everyone for themselves. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like, have you ever watched the things like the Doomsday, Doomsday or something? It's on like National Geo or something like that. And like there's the Doomsday's preppers, that's what they call themselves. Okay. And there's people who full oh, on yeah, 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 like, yeah. believe there's going to be some sort Usually of end to the world. in Arizona. <laughs> or like they're they're always in America. Why, why Arizona? I don't know. Where's Area Fifty One? Are you gonna come out with one of your crazy statements again now? You're gonna have hate mail no, come no. flying in. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, is where's Area Fifty One? Is that Arizona? Utah? That's Nevada. Nevada, yeah, Nevada. No, but like you're gonna have like these are people who are like invest a lot of money in like building underground like. I've got a bunker here. Do you know stuff. that? What? I've got a bunker here. Did you? Know? No, money investing. <laughs> Um, I was like, that's sure, so awesome, could, Joey. Yeah. <laughs> I was could, like, there was another one I saw. I think I saw it on YouTube. I was like, oh, you know the way you get in a YouTube binge and yeah, you just yeah, like yeah, keep yeah, following yeah, all these yeah. different stories? And somehow I ended up on like like people in, in LA who spend hundreds of millions on their houses yeah. that can literally withstand a nuclear, nuclear bomb. bomb. Yeah, yeah. What would you have? Okay, so you're going to have, we're doing like food you want to eat and stuff like that. So you can pack in a load of stuff in there and you're going to live for... Have you ever had, have you ever had ration food? Dehydrated no, food? I'd say it's terrible. Yeah, you just it's pour the great. water in? Yeah, my, my dad, my dad's an ex-army guy and he yeah. used to do it the whole time. Like get, oh. I don't know how now, I'll probably get in trouble. But anyway, we try like the, the ration food like... Like it's all done through chemical react, like oh yeah, 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 because it has to be like small. Yeah, yeah, whatever. you put water in it. Yeah, and you can yeah, either yeah. have a cold or like you put it in another bag that you shake up, and like some sort of chemical reaction happens in that bag that heats up. Do you know the other what they're bag. doing now to fix that? What? Printing food three D. That's it. It's mental, isn't it? I saw that's Star Trek stuff. Yeah. Um, what would you take into your bunker? So like, you're gonna be in there for like a good six months. You're gonna need a lot of DVDs. DVDs, yeah. A lot. Or you just have a hard drive anyway with all that back Or up. your girlfriend. <laughs> like, you, would you bring her or would you bring the DVDs? You'd obviously bring your missus, <laughs> yeah. like. But you're going to need something to... Like, would she not be like... Nee, nee, nee. Like, you're going to be in a pretty close... You're not going to be able to get away from her. Like, is she really... You'd be like, look, I want to watch Sopranos. She's <laughs> yeah. like, no, I want to watch Sex and City. No, um, I don't know what i bring in there. Like, all cable, internet, that's all been... Robots that's gone. Robots have got you're, that. Like, so you're <laughs> got, robots have got that. <laughs> you can bring a hard drive. DVDs, like would you? Are you bring gonna it? bring some armaments in here now, like, cause like, what are you gonna fight the robots with? This is getting ridiculous. I would bring. You'd have to bring a lot of beer, no, as well. Beer's kind of. I don't know what. What like what? <laughs> how do like? Where does the air come? Like, I haven't even thought this through. Where like, how long can you survive in one of these for? You can survive definitely. Yeah. How do? You, no, where's the food coming from? You pre-pack all the stuff, like tins. Yeah. But that's only gonna last. Are they big? Like, how big is a bunker? I'm asking you like you're a bunker yeah. like, expert. You're asking me like <laughs> yeah. I have one. Yeah. Well, actually, am I one? Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, I've actually got a lovely air conditioning, underfloor heating. Nice. <laughs> um, You'd have to bring the dogs. You would. But they'd be shitting and pissing, and like that would add up. I think I'd have to. You ruthless. <laughs> Man, you're gonna have the DSPCA <laughs> on your case now. It's apocalypse. Edit. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, what, what were we talking about there? That was like sports tech, was Where it? Did that the go drones, from? the drones. Drones, yeah, yeah. You know, I just think like when they embrace, maybe if they embrace them into like, imagine having the dr- now it's kind of hard because you never know what's going to happen depending on the sport. But having the drones flying the around, pitch, yeah, 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 yeah. Or even even like delivering prizes to people in the crowd. Have you not seen? You've the... seen people shoot. You know, they use the guns to shoot up the t-shirts and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you, who? I think it might be rugby where they bring the kicking thing on. They used with to the, do that. Yeah, the remote control car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just weird. But like, why? Of course, you just send it over in a drone, no? Uh, I, well, maybe kicking. The, I think that that's just a bit. It's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, like that, yeah. that just whole thing was like yards. such like sponsored by was the whoever, car sponsored Land by somebody, or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's but like I think something like I don't know. But what do you think about you when when Amazon said they're going to start delivering stuff? But they were in a lot of trouble at the time. With it was a Panorama documentary, and they knew that was coming about making their workers work really hard and stuff like that. So. It was a PR stunt because then, like everybody who started talking about drones, they were like, "This is forget the workers. This is amazing." Um, but I think they're like they're probably three or four years. Like you can't just start sending drones out everywhere, can you? Well, the UK have just signed off on autonomous cars as well. Yeah, I January, saw that. So. I saw that. That's the one that um, when I was in San Francisco, nobody's like that's, nobody's talking about Google Glass or anything. Like they're all talking about cars and not. It's, it's such not, a silent assassin, by the oh, way. I think. It's not, but like what they were excited about was, let me think of a good example. They were like the other businesses that it affects, like it kills like valet and that's uh, like car parks. It kill like it, it affects so many different industries, like yeah. takeaway. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like. It's going to be huge, but then there's massive yeah. benefits of it as well. Of course there are. Like, I mean, in terms of like, there hasn't been one accident. By the computers. By the computers. Yeah. Now, but mind you, if I was like, um, back to the robots, if I was a limo driver, I'd be scared. Like I, I say to everyone when I use Uber, I'm like, okay, your company, like y- you're point. using, I was like, do you like point. Uber? And they're like, oh yeah, it's great. We get business. And I was like, you do know the company that owned this make autonomous driving cars. Yeah. You're using their product. They're taking all your data yeah. that you're, of how you're driving around, who you're collecting, yeah. all that stuff. They have their own data from Google Maps and Google in general. Yeah. And I was like, do you not see this? Coming? Yeah. See, I don't want to get into a car with an Uber driver. Like it's great at the moment, but if you offer me that in in a few years' time, and I can push a button and, and, and my own, like my own or rent if you car. if you hit a car, if you like imagine now, what would you do? Would you choose someone to pick you up, or what about you hit Uber, bang, uh, personal, pu- no, yeah. yeah, car, lovely car pulls up. Of course, up. like I don't want a driver in there. Yeah, like nice, it's not a nice Range Rover Sport pulls up outside, bang, yeah, in you get. Um, you're going to take that, aren't you? Even trains. Like, that's going to decimate trains. Like, I was just thinking there, going to Cork, am I going to get a train or am I going to get a, my driverless car so I can sit back and work on the way down? Of course yeah. I'm going to get the Mind car. Mind you, though, if they got the trains act together in Ireland, I think we'd it'd, it'd kill it. Because like, then you could, if they really had trains together, like, you, you could be commuting to Dublin from Cork. Yeah. Trains are, like, trains in America, trains everywhere are crap. Um... I was going to ask you there, right? I'm doing this mad thing, okay? Going around America. Why am I not surprised? That's next Friday. And we've changed... I don't know if I told you we've changed it. Simon's coming as well. Um, How'd you wriggle your way in there? <laughs> to film it. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you might want a documentary of that. <laughs> so basically, we were going to do 50 states, but we're now doing 14, right? Or 14 cities or something. But it's, it's a bucket list. So it's a hundred things to that do. we have to do in America, right? So it's like chopper into the Grand Canyon, shoot a machine gun, get into the Playboy Mansion, all that sort of stuff, right? Yeah. So meet Dan Bilzerian. Surely you're yeah. meeting Dan Bilzerian. That has to be on the list, lads. I want Schwarzenegger. Selfie with Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. You ever read his book? No, I'd say it's good. Fascinating. Yeah. Um, so we're going to pick about 20 that we will have ready ourselves, like cool ones. But then we're going to like ask people. To, to give us challenges. What give us a challenge we should do in America? It can be anything, like stuff like, I'm gonna try and like take out a, a quarter Surely, bag. right, as a foodie, you watch Man Vs. Food. Yeah, I think there's stuff like that you can do in Vegas. Like, no, but like, challenges. But like, you've gotta like, get like the best of Man Vs. Food and the cities you're hitting up. Actually, every city that you're hitting up, do whatever the, the Man Vs. Food challenge was there, you gotta do it. I'm, look at the fucking size of me. Though. I don't like, care, like, you gotta I'm, try it. Okay. 
Or is it, like, is it always chilly and or is it size? Oh, sometimes it's just sheer size, yeah, and so sometimes it's like unbelievably spicy. spicy. Or yeah, anything else? I wish there was more of them in Dublin. Why don't we get you? Once this gets a bit of traction, like episode twenty, will be Jamie versus. I'll find you a challenge. I've eaten a wagon wheel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm ready. Why don't like I'll get you something. Mad. Gotta be on my cheat day though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you set it up in bear? We'll get. We'll, we'll do it and we'll get you to eat. Like well, we'll some go. people struggle with like um, one of the, like a bavette or you know the big yeah, sharing yeah, platters. Yeah, yeah. I, I can finish off bavette fairly easily. On your uh, that's for two, is it? Yeah. Or you, uh, could you even feed three or four a bavette? Yeah. Lemon um, could be a challenge. Any good to finish up? Any good? Always books, do, books, websites, uh, apps, movies. Uh, I like Uncrate. I think I've mentioned Uncrate before. Is though. that a box? No, you? Uncrate is like a website and it just like creates all this really, really cool. Really Uncrate.com? Ni- Uncrate.com. Really nice. Um, What's it do? You'll see it now. It's just really nice kit. I'm always about looking oh, okay. at kit and gadgets and stuff. Like design and it's yeah. a different design. Oh, that's uh, cool. Mr. Porter's a nice site if you want to do some shopping online. Like, some really good return policies as well the with them. female version of Netta Porter? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's funny how I only know net reporting. Um, yeah, I'm questioning. That's kind of saying uh, something. But what else would I? What else? What's that, Mister Porter? Mister Porter. Mister Porter. I'm trying Uncrate. to think of any other good sites I've I've seen recently. I, I know. I kind of always go back. To, I just always hit up my like your face. I was like, I always check Devour for like really good like what's going on YouTube right now. Do you like The Verge? I like The Verge. Verge is good as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like uh, Gear Patrol. I have about. I go in the morning, first 20 minutes, coffee, before I start work. There's like, there's maybe seven sites, like Reddit, TechMeme. You stick to what you know, yeah. don't you? Like, I'd love to go in and see what other people... Kind of internet's, pull together. Internet's kind of big. Like, yeah. not well, that's where Flipboard's really good, though. Yeah, it put, brings you stuff that you yeah. wouldn't, yeah. Creates it for you. Um, yeah, have you thought of that prize? <laughs> I just remembered. What? Oh, prize. Uh, what can I give you? Um, I don't know, maybe... Dinner, no. There's always dinner. I can always get... I'll, th- I'll think of the prize and we'll put it down below because it has to be something that's international. So we'll put it below the video and there'll be a prize for subscribing. <laughs> I totally forgot. Or maybe like, how many subscribers have we got? Uh, by this stage, you probably have like hundreds. Okay. Maybe a thousand. Why not a prize for like when we get to a thousand? Thousands. A thousand. Fo- can you tell who the follow? Yeah, sure you can. Yeah, but then it'd be kind of unfair on the first one, wouldn't it? That's first true. big... Their loyalty. My dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the two dogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Set up accounts for them. <laughs> uh, no, we'll, we'll think, think of something, something, something cool something. and we'll get it to Many people room. can tell us. Comment yeah, on the video. And next and time stuff. we're going to get a guest. Yeah. Somebody cool other than dogs. Uh, cool, so I think that's episode four. Uh, done. Happy days. Cheers. <laughs>